Geez, it's popping today. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're back out at the flea market. Let's see if we can't find some treasure. Oh, hey man, how you doing? Good, how are you, dude? Welcome nice back you. out here, brother. For sure. You just you, get out here? Your yeah, hands are pretty just warm. got out here, yeah. I just got out of the car. <laughs> Mine are like borderline numb. I can barely type them on my phone. What time did you get up here? We got, got here. some good stuff. Uh, and you got like a bunch seven. of stuff already. Yeah. Damn. This is Jamie. He got a whole tote of G.I. Joe, so I'm like lugging this thing around. Oh, heck yeah. But yeah, I got like hats, some hats, awesome. new in box stuff, super easy stuff. So cool, far. man. These are a, a wild card. Paid like five bucks for the box, so. Heck yeah? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. Look forward to How much you want on the Kings jersey? Three. Okay. Jokey. One, two, and three. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good one. You too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I'll take them off. Do you want your big totes? No. You okay, thanks. Cool. Thank you. Five bucks if you could use that, man. This? The whole thing. It goes with it. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. What kind of thing are you looking for, bro? All kinds of stuff. Okay. Whatever I can find. We'll make it a good deal like you. if you can use anything. Cool. Grab that one for sure. Do another look around. <laughs> All right, I just took a chance on that last buy. I picked up that uh, fire helmet with the detector on it. I didn't really want the fire helmet, but it, that detector, I sold other ones in the past for some decent money. So hopefully that is one that is worth it. It's only a $5 chance, so I figured it was worth it either way. I'll probably end up just getting rid of the helmet though. Thank you. How much were you asking on the jersey? It's 20. 20? Yeah, yeah, it's a I'll pass on it. Give me fifteen dollars now. Fifteen dollars. I'll do fifteen for it. Yeah, I'll do fifteen. Yeah, we'll do fifteen. Colorado down by Trinidad and New Mexico border, Tennessee. Yo, look at that. That's pretty cool. Charlotte Hornet's got the beads on it. Alright, starter. That's pretty sick. What were you asking on that one? I got five on that. I'll take five. I'll do five on that. It's fine. Give you yours. Hang your back. Yeah. Is it? Dang. It's, it's I knew it figured it would be. I'm all I like clothing and stuff, like the older stuff like this. But That's newer old. stuff and yeah, this is nineties. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Alright, we got down here. Got some miscellaneous stuff. Sometimes there's good stuff in this. No one's stuck through it. Delta Force Uzi. Mm -hmm. Do 
die-cast collectible robot. Looks like he's right there. Fell off the card. How much of the stuff in this box? A dollar. Cool. Yeah. Just to clean and go through? Oh, Damn. <laughs> I'm, I've been up that over 21 years and I'm still not. <laughs> yeah. Got a garage sale and you throw it out. Ultron? That's a cool one. That's something she's going to There you go. Alright, I'll grab these three off you. There's three pieces. Make your second sale of the day, too. <laughs> Three bucks. Thank you, sir. All right, that one right there was probably the score of the day for me. Not only did I get that vintage Charlotte Hornets um, 90s hoodie, but I got a new in the package Voltron Black Lion. Like, <laughs> I can't believe that. It was only a buck. I got it for a buck. I can't believe that. That was a great, great score right there. Wow. I wasn't sure how well of a shot I got on this thing, but look at that. The Black Lion Force Voltron. It does have a sticker up there and the packaging's a little beat, but down here, 1984, as you can see, that's awesome. I know loose, this guy goes for like 30 bucks. I have no idea what it'll be worth when it's new in box like this. So that is just awesome. Really happy with that one. And not only did he sell me that stuff at a great price, I also got his number because he said he has a couple buildings full of random stuff that his mom left him. So hopefully that's gonna turn into a little private pick or something here soon. Fingers crossed on that, but that's why you network with people. I just, that deal is absolutely nuts. All right, back at home, and now I'm gonna take you through everything that I ended up getting at the flea market yesterday. Which honestly wasn't that much yesterday. I normally get a lot more stuff, but I got up there a little late, so a lot of it had been picked through already. However, I still got some really, really good stuff, and the quality is definitely still there. And the first thing that I ended up finding there was this Los Angeles Kings Logo 7 jersey. I honestly couldn't believe this was still sitting there, but there aren't a lot of clothing resellers that go to that market, so I got a little lucky, no one found it. It does have a little bit of staining down here, and if we look down low at the bottom tag here, you can see it does say Logo Athletic, old school Los Angeles Kings jersey. I didn't look this up, but for three bucks, I definitely, definitely wasn't leaving it. And I believe the next item I ended up finding was this guy right here, this Fire Slash EMT helmet. I probably should have put it on, it was probably kind of crusty in there. But the reason I bought this wasn't for the helmet itself. The helmet probably doesn't have a lot of value, especially in this condition. I have sold other ones that were in good condition before for some decent money. But the reason I bought it was for the device that was attached to it. This is a little um, MSA Minico detector. Some of these detectors I've sold before and some of them go for like a couple hundred bucks. I haven't looked up this model yet, but I'm hoping that it is a good one. Either way, I'll take a $5 chance on that all day long. And the next item here is another jersey, the Arizona Diamondbacks. And this one is a pretty good jersey to find. It's a vintage one, as we can see over here on the sleeve. There we go, Arizona Diamondbacks 1998. Good year to find. That jersey is going to be worth a little bit more than what I was expecting after looking up comps. I was really happy with it. And then down low, we can see it is actually on the, the Russell Diamond Collection tag down there, size 44. And originally he was asking 20 bucks on the jersey. I was kind of like, eh, do I want to pick it up for 20 bucks? Which in hindsight still would have been a great deal. But he ended up dropping it down to 15 and I ended up grabbing it from him. And what's really cool about this is if you can see right up here and right here, there are two signatures. Now I haven't been able to figure out who they are yet. So if you know who they are, let me know. I'll give you a close up here in just a second. There is the first signature. If you know what that is, let me know down in the comments. And there is the second signature right there. And even if this jersey was unsigned, I still think it would have been a great deal at 15 bucks because I seen some of these comped out at over a hundred bucks just for a normal jersey like this. So I'm hoping those uh, players that signed this, hopefully are players that signed this, adds a little bit more value to it as well. So that was a nice pickup. And then the next items I ended up getting were a couple of video games here. We got 
Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex on the PlayStation 2, and then we've got Twisted Metal 2 on the PlayStation 1. And I got those guys for two bucks a piece, not bad. And then came the final vendor, the final purchase of the video, and this was a pretty dang good one. And this stuff had been sitting out for quite a while because this was towards when I was getting ready to go home. So I walked over to the vendor and he was mainly selling some like brand new, like off-brand shoes, nothing that I wanted to pick up for the prices he was having, but on the rack, he had this just sitting there, the only piece of older clothing that was really out there, the Charlotte Hornets hoodie. It is like one of those double hooded ones, the old school style ones, has the beads on the pull strings. That thing is crazy. It is on the uh, starter tag down in here. There you go, the starter tag down in there. Definitely, definitely a cool piece. I've actually sold the uh, Bulls hoodie that's like this, the red and black one with the beads, and that thing went for like, I wanna say around 100 bucks, so I'm hoping this is a good one as well. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably less desirable than the Bulls one, but I mean, still, I'm hoping like 60, 70 bucks out of that guy. And then, if that wasn't cool enough, on the ground, there was just this little bin of stuff. He said everything in it was a buck. There was a bunch of random stuff, but there were some old toys in there. One of them was this Delta Force Uzi. It's like a Rambo one, old school. It's probably nothing crazy on that. Maybe 10, 15 bucks, but anytime I find old toys, I'm drawn to them because I love selling them. That is a cool piece. And then there was this little die cast robot. It is like an old school uh, bootleg transformer. It is off the cart, unfortunately, but there's still a collector's market for bootleg stuff. I just sold a bootleg transformer not too long ago for around 20 bucks. That was new in the box. So I'm thinking maybe like 15 to 20 on this guy. But then I saw this sitting in the corner of the box and I couldn't believe my eyes. Voltron, Voltron Black Line. I shot an extra clip of this after I picked it up at the flea market, but this, <laughs> that's a crazy find. I've sold just the figure by itself for 30 bucks before. So I'm excited to see what I'll end up getting for a one that's still in the package. You know, the package isn't exactly in great shape, but hey, it's still an in-package Voltron piece. Like that does not happen, especially for a dollar. That it. That is my favorite find of the day. Like, it's hard to edge out that Charlotte Hornets hoodie, but I think this did it for me. Here's a better look at the back on that. That is just a really, really cool piece right there. Super, super happy to find that sucker. And that right there is everything that I ended up picking up at the flea market. Again, not a ton of stuff, but the quality was definitely still there. I can't believe that some of this stuff, like that Voltron piece and that, that hoodie were just sitting there that late into the day. I absolutely couldn't believe that. Still ended up getting some good finds, even though I did show up a little later than normal because it was cold out the morning and... I wasn't about to deal with that. But yeah, I still think that was a pretty solid day at the flea market. Let me know down below what your favorite item that I ended up picking up was, or if you have like a thing that you picked up recently that you thought was really cool you'd like to share, I would love to know down in the comments what it was. Otherwise, if you did enjoy this content, let me know down below by smashing that like button for me and consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.